Welcome back. My name is Baller Scuba. This is Video Games Over Time. Today we're going to talk about the world in 1972. We're going to talk about the big events of the year and the mainstream culture of the time. We're going to do this to provide context for the video games we are going to play. After all, nothing is created in a vacuum. Everything is created in a world full of ideas, events, and influences. For the purposes of these videos, we'll be focused primarily on the United States and its culture, but we will be hearing from other countries from time to time. Keep in mind that what is mainstream or what is popular does not necessarily make it good. We will start in the field of technology. Two home video cassette formats were released in 1972. In America, Cartridge Television Incorporated released Cartrivision. Cartrivision was sold in the form of a TV set with a recorder built into the system. Using magnetic tape, Cartrivision allowed for the recording and playing of pre-recorded tapes at home. Although it was not the first home video format, Cartrivision was the first to offer a major motion picture rental service. However, with the first Cartrivision selling for $1,350, over $8,400 in 2020, the system was out of the price range of most families. Cartrivision did not sell well. Meanwhile, in Europe, Royal Philips Electronics, a Dutch electronics company, released the video cassette recording, VCR. As opposed to previous formats, the VCR system was easy to use and recorded in color. Despite its expensive price tag selling for just under 600 pounds, equivalent to just under $9,000 in 2020, Philips' VCR system became the first commercially successful consumer-level home video cassette recorder system. Despite its success, Philips' VCR system was only available in Europe. In October, the first International Conference on Computer Communications was held in Washington, D.C. The first public demonstration of ARPANET was shown there. ARPANET was the product of the Advanced Research Projects Agency, ARPA, part of the United States Department of Defense. ARPANET allowed for communication between computers in a packet-switching network using dedicated phone lines. Among the activities available at the demonstration, attendees could interact with an air traffic control system and play computer chess. Hewlett Packard, a multinational electronics company, released their first pocket calculator, the HP 35, the world's first scientific calculator, a calculator with trigonometric and exponential functions. I assume some students were very happy about this, while others were really not. Turning away from technology to the world of politics. 1972 is a big year for American politics. The United States was in the midst of the Cold War, which started in 1947, and the Vietnam War, which started for America in 1964. On February 21st, 1972, President Richard Nixon visited China. The seven-day trip was the first time any U.S. president had visited the People's Republic of China in history, giving the American public the first images of China in over two decades. This visit led to China's opening to the world, a change that has had an impact on the world stage for decades. On November 7th, incumbent President Richard Nixon won his re-election campaign, defeating Democratic Senator George McGovern, but not without controversy. During the election, the Democratic National Committee's headquarters at the Watergate office building in Washington, D.C. had a break-in. This began a series of events for the Nixon administration that would become known as the Watergate scandal. Now to the media of 1972. The highest grossing films of 1972 are... The Godfather. The Poseidon Adventure. What's up, Doc? Behind the Green Door. And Deliverance. Other notable films from 1972 include Fist of Fury, Godzilla vs. Gigan,
Snoopy come home? Tales from the Crypt? And Way of the Dragon. In the world of sport, the 1972 Winter Olympics were held in Sapporo, Japan. The USSR won the most medals with 16 and the most gold medals with 8. The 1972 Summer Olympics were held in Munich, Germany. The USSR won the most medals with 99 and the most gold medals with 50. These Olympic Games would have another legacy, however. A Palestinian terrorist group took 11 Israeli Olympic team members hostage, then killed them along with a West German police officer. In American football, the Dallas Cowboys defeated the Miami Dolphins 24-3 to win Super Bowl VI. In boxing, Joe Frazier is the world heavyweight champion, retaining his title in two matches in 1972, defeating Terry Daniels by TKO and Ron Stander by corner retirement. In baseball, the Oakland Athletics beat the Cincinnati Reds four games to three to win the World Series. In basketball, the Los Angeles Lakers beat the New York Knicks four games to one to win the NBA Finals. The Indiana Pacers beat the New York Nets four games to two to win the ABA Finals. In hockey, the Boston Bruins defeated the New York Rangers to win the Stanley Cup four games to two. In chess, Bobby Fischer defeated Boris Spassky at the World Chess Championship to become the first American World Chess Champion. In golf, Jack Nicklaus won the Masters US Open and is the year's PGA money leader. In NASCAR, Richard Petty won the NASCAR Grand National Series. On television, the Nielsen top-rated shows of the 1971-72 season were... All in the Family. The Flip Wilson Show. Marcus Welby, MD. Gunsmoke. And the ABC Movie of the Week. Other notable ongoing television series in 1972 include Doctor Who, Monty Python's Flying Circus, Sesame Street, and The Wonderful World of Disney. Some notable television debuts in 1972 include the new Scooby-Doo movies and Kung Fu. In the world of comic books, Stan Lee became Marvel Comics publisher, leaving the editor-in-chief position he had held continuously since 1945. Some notable debuts in comic books in 1972 include Jonah Hex in All-Star Western No. 10, Adam Warlock in his first appearance as Warlock in Marvel Premiere No. 1, Luke Cage in Luke Cage Hero for Hire No. 1, and the Johnny Blaze version of Ghost Rider in Marvel Spotlight No. 5. A couple notable books in 1972 include Watership Down, and Mrs. Frisbee, and the Rats of Nim. And finally, I have linked to a playlist of the Billboard number no. 1 songs of 1972. And that, from a video game perspective, is the world of 1972. My name is Baller Scuba. This has been Video Games Over Time. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in our next video where we will be playing a certain tennis themed video game. <laughs>